whether illuminating the bays of Puerto Rico or symbiotically aiding host organisms, bioluminescent bacteria are a source of beauty, an important component of marine ecosystems, and the most visible demonstration of quorum sensing. Bacteria are all around us. Together, they can protect the body from a barrage of diseases or incite crippling infections, creating one of nature's most powerful forces. However, one bacterium is a simple structure that contains a single strand of DNA in its cytoplasm, so the assumption that one basic cell can impact the body so significantly seems implausible. The once mysterious process by which bacteria communicate is known as quorum sensing, which is best demonstrated by the marine bacterium Vibrio fischeri. As a luminescent bacterium, it provides a visual illustration of its responses to fluctuations in population density, making studying that process significantly easier. During those studies, scientists observed that isolated bacteria emitted no light, but once allowed to reach a certain concentration, they turned on simultaneously. In the quorum sensing system of Vibrio fischeri, five luciferase structural genes and two regulatory genes are required to produce bioluminescence. Regulatory proteins, Lux I and Lux R, are in charge of the quorum sensing system, as they control the production and reception of autoinducers, the molecules that measure the population density, and the activation of the Lux ICD ABE operon, the unit of linked genes that consists of the luciferase structural genes that produce bioluminescence. Lux I is the autoinducer synthase, meaning it creates the density measuring molecule that is received by other bacteria, which is known as the acylhomocerine lactone autoinducer, or AHL. The molecule is primarily exchanged between gram-negative bacteria, which have thinner cell walls than gram-positive bacteria, but its attached R group is what makes this form unique to Vibrio fischeri. Lux R binds the autoinducer, meaning it receives the signal it carries. Then, it activates the transcription of the Lux ICD ABE operon, meaning it controls the expression of light. That operon initiates a complex process, during which luciferase, the light producing enzyme, is encoded, resulting in bioluminescence when the cell decides that gene should be activated. Complicated, right? Possibly, but it's necessary. This cyclical process is responsible for the symbiotic relationships in organisms like the anglerfish and, most notably for Vibrio fischeri, the Hawaiian bobtail squid. This mutualistic relationship is important for its relevant ecosystems, but quorum sensing's influence extends beyond bioluminescence. In fact, all bacteria have this property, which is why it takes you a few days to exhibit symptoms after contracting harmful bacteria. Those bacteria accumulate in your body, and once they reach a sufficient number, they strike, making the study of this concept crucial for combating virulence. While the issue of antibiotic resistance becomes more pressing, more scientists are looking to quorum sensing for the answer. By inhibiting virulence factors like a bacterium's receptor proteins with engineered autoinducers, the bacterium isn't killed as it would be with antibiotics. Instead, these virulence therapies render the cell useless, decreasing the development of resistant strains while preventing infection. Therefore, the future of medicine may lie in a concept billions of years old.